The fake lasers, the gimmick, so much more. Platforms galore. Alright, let's talk about... I guess you'd say the continuing saga of the crypto muscle. His story, right? Uh, as I thought of that name. I know that that sort of name has been used so many times. His story, right? Uh, it's like whatever. I mean, I'm going to use it too. All right. So, uh, this is where it's at. All right. Um, this particular week, I'm on vacation. So, I wanted to still provide content, but in a different way. Because uh, I love doing YouTube. I love doing content creation. And I could come up with all kinds of stuff on the fly. And uh, that's one of the things I enjoy doing. All right. And it's almost like a full-time job. But it's not. <laughs> um, I do spend, you know, quite a bit of time when it comes to this stuff, you know, content creation and all that. And so, um, you know, it's fun. I love it. All right. And I'll tell you guys my story uh, many, many times over, but um, I'll tell it in another video, though, <laughs> about why I do what I do and all that other stuff. All right. This particular video... Uh, I wanted to kind of just continue on to the um, the crypto because it, it, eventually it's all going to come together is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to give you a piece of who I am historically and what I've been doing and um, where, you know, how do I get to where I'm at today? And, you know, it's, it's just stuff to talk about. You know, I, I, I have a lot of things to talk about all the time. It doesn't have to be like a platform or trading driven sort of uh, content video. So, um, but it'll, it'll all round together, all right? By the end of my vacation here, all right? It's just a one week vacation. And then, uh, you know, you'll see, all right? So, uh, let's see here. Let me uh, backtrack a little bit here, all right? So I introduced myself and, you know, time off. And then I did a, Kind of like a history trilogy. All right? I did three videos about how I got started in crypto, the platforms I got in, the platform that drove me to below zero. <laughs> right now, you know, um, the last video I did was talking about arbitraging. Right, it was a big, big deal back in 2018 uh, and into 2019, and then of course it ended at Moonberg, and that was kind of like the end of all these token platforms um and i did a video about moonberg kind of looking back uh which i showed in that that particular video about what tobias did and all that take a look at that video if you look if you're like into uh crypto history uh, platform history because i'm all about it. i'm a historian when it comes to platforms and and just being in crypto all right i'm a historian and the only one other one in this space that could go back in time as as long as we have is the legendary oracle, right? He could go back in time. We could talk about stories all the day long, all right? So um, the the end of those platforms came, right? Now um, the thing about how those platforms ended, especially arbitraging, um, it, it left a bitter taste in my mouth because. I started to see the true colors of particularly two YouTubers, right? Uh, at the time, that was uh, that was there. Uh, one was Bits Away. The other one was a guy named Dewan. And both are bozos. Both are idiots. Both are nobodies. Like, Dewan was so full of shit. You know, he's, he's so full of shit. He's more of like a hanger on her. And didn't know nothing about crypto. He claims to write a book, wrote or wrote a book on how to buy Bitcoin, which was like a 30-page book. He said, "I was like, man, you're you're a moron." Uh, and then Bitsway was just a lying scumbag. All right, it reminds me of uh, current day Marcos. So I saw the true colors of these two guys when it came to arbitraging because both were crybabies. And, of course, yeah, I mean, you had a bunch of crybabies on arbitraging. Uh, there was Crypto Austin sitting there crying, and he was betting his life about 
how true and real this thing is with arbitraging when things were starting to unravel. All right, the countless amount of YouTubers that were being paid and ARBs, all right, ARB coins or tokens, whatever they are. And I mean, the story, I, like I said, I did a 10 part story. Look at my 10 part story, all right, on the arbitraging days, all right, because it was big. That's the reason why I dedicated um, videos trying to tell the arbitraging story. All right, I did a 10 part video on that and told the story from how it became or came to be part one all the way up to part 10 the conclusion all right i told the whole story about everything that happened during that time all right and it was just crazy and then um after or well not after it's more like as arbitrage is kind of falling apart and uh, this guy named Tobias came on the scene and started to introduce Moonberg. Oh, we got a stable dollar, a stable coin. That's equivalent to, you know, stable dollars and whatever, blah, blah, blah. All right. So, but going back to um, Bits Away and Dewan, they started to sh tr show their true colors when they started to do videos that were out of, kind of out of nowhere, right? You know, trying to uh, attack David Peterson all of a sudden, which is the fake CEO name, pseudonym, pseudo name of Jeremy Roundsbury, which is his real name. Um, with that, they started to do like actual, like what we call shoot style videos. And shoot style means you're just like, like attacking and truthfully attacking, right? A work is kind of like, you know, a, Acting, right? Work is like acting. A shoot is like direct. You are raging, direct, and it's real. And they were doing a couple of shoot videos attacking David Peterson out of nowhere because there were crybabies, Dewan and uh, Bitsway, talking about, oh, you know, we do this and all this for you guys because they were just hanger honors. They weren't like the main core YouTubers that, that uh, came on the scene trying to throw out their arbitraging and so they were crying about how they weren't getting paid and they do all this work for arbitraging and so they did a shoot video trying to uh, especially Bitsway trying to attack David Peterson right so <laughs> it was like night and day the next day all of a sudden Bitsway comes out of the video talking about oh so by the way they did um Dewan and, and Bitsway came out with their videos, right? And both of them had a similar message. They said, oh, we're going to take, I'm going to take a step back because I'm not liking what I'm seeing right now. You know, there's something going on with arbitraging and, uh, you know, all this stuff. And I do all these things for arbitraging and I'm not getting paid for it and blah, blah, blah. I mean, literally, this was, this was a shoot video between him and Dewan. And I'm not getting paid for this, blah, blah, blah. And they're crying about it. And so I'm going to take a step back because I'm not liking what I'm seeing because there's something going on here. Well, the, the platform is not looking good right now, blah, 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 right? Next thing you know, David Peterson shoots, you know, out ARBs, right? ARB payments. And then I think it was like 10,000 ARBs, which not is not $10,000. It was probably like a couple thousand or something like that. All of a sudden... Here, here's another video, right? Going back to work, right? A work video now. Oh, man, David Pearson is such a great guy. He's such a great CEO. And I was like, what the fuck, man? These fucking morons. And, and a similar scenario happened with Dewan. But Dewan's just a straight moron. He, he tries to act like he has, like, this knowledge of crypto and, you know, the, the, the inner workings of how crypto works and Bitcoin and... He tries to act like he's a world traveler and all this other stuff. He's just a moron and an idiot. That's why he doesn't do shit no more in this space. Uh, Bitsway got driven out of the space because he got exposed as being fucking trash and a piece of shit liar. So he got exposed for being a piece of shit YouTuber. And he got driven out of the space big time. Because people got tired of his whining. He was whining all the time. He was doing all this shit, right? And people got tired of it. And he got driven out, all right? There's a video I did called Black Screen, all right? 
and he got driven to black screen, all right? So things were starting to happen to bits away. We'll just say it was bad luck <laughs> happening to bits away that, that no matter what he did, bad luck was happening to him to the point where claims were being said about uh, content he was putting out there. So he tried to counter back by saying, well, if I go to black screen, you can't say that I'm doing anything now, right? Trying to challenge whatever difficulties he was dealing with, right? And literally, he was on black screen trying to say, you can't, you can't take me down now because I'm on black screen. There's nothing that you can do to say that I did anything, right? <laughs> and next thing you know, he still got taken down. He just had a lot of bad luck, even with a black screen. <laughs> That was the funniest video ever. Oh man, you know, I mean, the, the stories I can tell. And so yeah, so arbitraging came to an end, and um, that's the story I wanted to tell in this particular video about how Moonberg wasn't much better because that stupid bitch away um, before his channel went down in that particular fashion, and you know, how he exposed himself as being a liar and a piece of shit. He started to do Moonberg, and he was probably one of the, the main face, even though he didn't show his face, but the main uh, YouTuber for Moonberg, right? And and, and Crypto, uh, what's his name? Clover, Clover, right? And these two idiots, all right, uh, was trying to, you know, be like the, the guys for Moonberg. And, Moon, and so Bitsway would try to demonstrate by living off of crypto. I'm living on crypto now, you know, and... Moved to an apartment, trying to live off of Moonberg. It's like, yeah, you got to be an idiot to do that shit. And uh, literally, when the platform went down, he had to move back to his mom's basement. And that's not, you know, a work. That's a shoot. That's that's for real. <laughs> I mean, that's what happened. And Clover, he be uh, so Moonberg became a, a platform where they could do copy trading, right? You could do, you know, stake into a platform, or you could copy trade on it. So, of all people in the space, which Clover didn't really have a good track record of trading anyways, but he became one of the main traders of like, there's like four or five main traders for Moonberg, and he was one of those main traders to copy trade. I was like, man, if you guys follow his trades, man, you guys are going to be driven to zero. You're gonna, He's going to melt you down, liquidate you, right? And... <laughs> You know what was a funny thing that happened too? They they had a trader. His name was called um, Trader X or X Trader or something like that, right? So people were seeing uh, he was providing good results, right? But that was just a, a ploy for this guy because he what he did was he started to show his clout and popularity that people started putting their money towards him to do all the copy trading with and and and. Um, or I think you give, I don't know if it's copy trade, I think it's trading that you could put into them and then they trade on your behalf and then they shoot you your profit and all that. And X Trader just took the money. I mean, literally, he took, he got a, a, a good amount of money collected and just took it and left. I was like, holy shit, that was some balls right there. And that really killed uh, Moonberg besides Tobias taking money as well. And so, uh, yeah, and then that was the end of these platforms. <laughs> yeah, it says, uh, it, it, it was just bad. It was real bad uh, at that time. So this is now, what, 2019, all right? So what, because I, uh, I kind of touched on it in my last video, in my trilogy series I did, but I wanted to really um, tell why those platforms in it and this sort of era of token platforms in it because that's what really happened. It really signaled the end of this token platform era and led to um, people to kind of rethink about platforms in general. Uh, so this was a turning point in crypto at that time in 2019. And then a game changer came on the scene. So I, I said that in the last video and I'm going to say it again in this video. A game changer came on the scene and you're going to have to stay tuned for the next video and I'll tell you more about it. All right, which was, uh, I'll just say it right now, Cash FX, all right, st um, started to come about. And like I said, we'll talk about it more in another video. That is another history. Comment down below, links down below. I'll see you next one.